How now? What news? He is almost supped. Why have you left the chamber? Hath he asked for me? No, you not, he has. We will proceed no further in this business. He hath honored me of late, and I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people which would be worn now, in their newest dross, not cast aside so soon. Was a hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Hath it slept since? And wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so freely. From this time, such I account thy love. Art thou feared to be the same in thine own act and valor as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteems the ornament of life? And live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I would, like the poor cat in the adage. Pretty peace. I dare do all that may become a man. Who dares do more is none. What? Beast was it then that made you break this enterprise to me. When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. Nor time nor place did then adhere, and yet you would make both. Now they have made themselves, and that their fitness now does unmake you. I have given suck, and know how tender tis to love the babe that milks me. I would, well it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from his boneless gums and dashed the brains out, had I so sworn as you have done to this. If we should fail. We fail. But screw your courage to the sticking place and will not fail. When Duncan is asleep, where to the rather shall his day's hard journey soundly invite him, his two chamberlains, will I with wine and wassail so convince that memory, the warder of the brain, shall be a fume, and the receipt of reason a limbeck only. When in their swinish sleep their drenched natures lie as in a death, what cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon his spongy officers who shall bear the guilt of our great quell. Bring forth men, children only, for thy undaunted metal should compose nothing but males. Will it not be received when we have marked with blood those sleepy two of his own chamber and use their very daggers that they have done? Who dares receive it other, as we shall make our griefs and clamor roar upon his death? I am settled and bend up each corporal agent to this terrible feat. Away, and mark the time with fairest show. False face must hide what the false heart doth know. <laughs> <laughs>